in the last two years, the small town in the Satpura and Vindhyachal ranges on the banks of the Narmada has become imprinted in national consciousness. The Statue of Unity has made Kevaria a household name and a must visit place for every Indian. किसान का बेटा था वो दृढ़ता का भंडार वल्लभ भाई पटेल नाम कहलाता था सरदार कृषक कार्मिक जनगण से था उसको प्यार अपार अखिल देश ने उसे रहनुमा किया था स्वीकार Talking about his vision for the town that houses this most unique monument, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said Kevaria should be a model tourist destination for the entire family. The emphasis here is on preserving the ecology and local heritage of the town with sustainable tourism. rural tourism organic and agriculture tourism as the focus and the peaceful narmada adding tranquility to a wholesome experience but even before the statue of unity kevaria was famous for the sardar sarovar dam reservoir and even before the present tourism circuit it had always been a popular picnic spot The Statue of Unity has given the town a symbol of masterclass design, precision engineering, excellent project management, and exemplary construction. Hello, and a very warm welcome to this special edition of Rajya Sabha Television from Kevadia in Gujarat. And right now, we are at the Zarwani Eco Tourism Circuit. Kevadia has been developed as tourism hub and has further fortified India's position in the world's tourism map. This model of development has not only benefited the local populace but has empowered our women and youth immensely. Come along as I take you through this beautiful destination. We started our excursion with the Zarwani Eco Tourism Circuit. If what you're looking for is absolute serenity in the lap of nature, you just can't afford to miss the Zarwani. place epitomizes all the goodness of mother nature with lush green wooded areas and invigorating rivulets zarwani is the ideal getaway for the weary city dweller looking for a refreshing break from the daily grind here the immense aesthetic beauty of the place has ample space and opportunities for ecotourism from the zarwani waterfall we are headed towards the cactus garden And as you're talking about ecotourism, a major attraction is this cactus garden, where there are more than six lakh plants of different 450 species. Well, the idea was to give a sense of desert ecosystem in a landmass that is well entrenched in aquatic surrounding. A grand architectural greenhouse. The garden is an ecological habitat for nearly 450 national and international species of cactus plants. 
These species come from 17 countries, mainly in the North and South America and African continents. Besides the stunning landscape of colorful cactus, the garden gives an educational and learning opportunity for students and enthusiasts to explore the mysteries of nature. Outside and inside the dome, the exceptional landscaping further enhances the beauty of the garden. कैक्टस गार्डन सारे आठ एकड़ में फैला हुआ है और उसका जो पूरा एरिया है वो 25 एकड़ जितना होता है यहाँ पे जितनी भी वैरायटी है पूरे वर्ल्ड में 2000 जितनी वैरायटी है कैक्टस की उसमें से 450 जितनी वैरायटी यहाँ पे है और उससे ज़्यादा भी है जितनी भी वैरायटी है उसमें से कुछ वेराइटी जो है आयुर्वेदिक दवाइयों में यूज़ होती है और कुछ वैरायटी हम घर में भी यूज़ कर सकते हैं एज अ डेकोरेट के लिए जैसे गार्डनिंग है बालकनी में है वहाँ पे और दूसरा कि कैक्टस भी हमारे एनवायरनमेंट को क्लीन करने का काम करता है आर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन इज द बटरफ्लाई गार्डन अलोंग द बैंक्स ऑफ द नर्मदा द ब्यूटिफुल गार्डन इज इंटेंडेड टू प्रोवाइड एन आइडियल एनवायरमेंट फॉर बटरफ्लाइज Since most butterflies feed on the nectar of flowers, the garden houses 150 species of nectar plants and larval host plants. There are also places for them to lay eggs and host plants to sustain caterpillars. The beautifully designed park also provides a close view of the stunning butterflies. आपने बटरफ्लाई गार्डन दूसरी जगह देखा होगा तो नेट या डोम में क्लोज देखा होगा ये पूरा नेचुरली गार्डन बनाया है और यहाँ पे ऐसे ही प्लांट लगाए हैं जो बटरफ्लाई को अट्रैक्ट करेंगे बटरफ्लाई को दो तरह के प्लांट चाहिए एक लार्वल होस्ट प्लांट जिस पे वो एग ले करती है वो सभी बटरफ्लाई के पर्टिकुलर फिक्स रहते हैं और उसके बाद यहाँ पर नेक्टर प्लांट लगाए हैं बटरफ्लाई की पूरी ट्वेंटी दिन की लाइफ स्टेजिस रहती है लाइफ साइकिल पहले एग कैटरपिलर प्यूपा एंड एडल बटरफ्लाई उसके बाद उसको नेक्टर प्लांट चाहिए तो यहाँ पे नेक्टर प्लांट हंड्रेड प्लांट लगाए हैं और होस्ट प्लांट यहाँ पे फिफ्टी प्लांट लगाए हैं और बटरफ्लाई जो हमारे गुजरात में एक सौ दस स्पीसीज की देखने को मिलती है उसमें से इस गार्डन में सेवेंटी स्पीसीज की बटरफ्लाई आएगी अभी तक फोर्टी स्पीसीज की बटरफ्लाई आइडेंटिफाई की है Next, we went to the famous Ekta Nursery. This was also envisioned by Prime Minister Modi when he dedicated the Statue of Unity to the nation. Prime Minister Modi suggested that the Ekta Nursery be developed as a tourist destination to spread awareness about eco-friendly practices. The nursery serves the dual purpose as an educational cup demonstration center for tourists as well as to provide employment to local people the central part of the nursery is dedicated to displaying the ethnic tribal culture a tribal hut containing various artifacts used by local tribes depicts their native culture the souvenir shops are run by the gujarat forest development corporation and the cottage and rural industries department if tourist spots are spectacular more inspiring are the stories of women empowerment paving way for economic stability and independence the ekta nursery has a cafeteria for tourists to sample tribal delicacies and specialties especially the herbal tribal tea that is a unique beverage of the region Most of the activities here are managed by self-help groups of women who come from the villages around Kevadia. This initiative contributes to the social upliftment by employing local people. Development works in Kevadia town have generated direct employment for 3000 tribal boys and girls and indirect employment for 10000 others. 
Moreover, it has opened up new avenues of micro entrepreneurship for women. Here we are having like a Tadwi and Vasava Prajati over here. And we are importing training regarding like income generating activities. At the same time, we are supplying raw material, required materials, machineries. And main thing is the like shop or the market area. Normally, once they have started making the things, where will they sell? So here like our Gujarat Forest Department has sold out or sorted their issues over here. So here, our tribal ladies are working as an entrepreneur. That is the main thing like. Here, our main task is uh, uh, like generating employment for the tribal ladies only. मैं यहाँ गोरा गांव से आती हूँ बड़े पेड़ में से छोटे पेड़ बनाने की कला है इसको बोनसाई बोलते हैं सब अलग अलग पौधे की बनाई है और अलग अलग तरीका से बनाई है हमने यहाँ फॉरेस्ट विभाग में से तालीम दी है हम बनाते भी है सेल भी करते हैं और सिखाते भी है सिखाने के लिए पचास रुपया डेमो रखा है और बना के ले जाना है तो इसकी प्राइस अलग से देना है फ्रॉम दी एकता नर्सरी वी ड्रोव टू द एकता मॉल Our country is the quintessential example of unity and diversity. And once you come to Ekta Mall in Kivadia, you'll just experience that. Covering an area of 35,000 square feet, Ekta Mall offers a range of handicrafts and traditional fabric items made in different parts of the country. Built within just 110 days, the mall has about 20 emporia. Each emporia represents a state and stocks the fabrics distinct to it. The tour of the Arogya Van Park is the next highlight in store for us. From prehistoric times, humans have known about the importance of medicinal plants. Modern as well as traditional medicinal systems like Ayurveda have been using herbs in wellness treatments, therapies like massages, curing health conditions and as a preventive treatment. The Arogyavan or Herbal Garden recognizes this. It is developed near the Statue of Unity over an area of about 17 acres. Arogivan has a wide range of medicinal plants and health related landscapes. The aim of this attraction at Kevadia is to raise awareness about the important role played by plants in the well being of human beings. It brings out the close affinity shared by yoga, Ayurveda and meditation as an integral part of person's well-being. One of the major attractions of the Arogivan is the Oshud Manav, a giant three-dimensional layout of the human body in a resting posture. Each human organ is represented by a medicinal plant that is beneficial for it. From Arogivan, we reached the Bharatwan, a part of the Valley of Flowers, where more than half a million flowering species are planted. The blend of ornamental plants, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers in this captivating landscape makes it difficult to imagine how the place was once a dumping site of excavated materials from the dam. Our next destination was India's first nutrition park. The park is intended to provide entertainment and education to children on the theme of Sahi Poshan Desh Roshan. Nutrition of children is a concern not only for parents but collectively for the nation too.
The main components of Nutrition Park include Nutri Train and Theme Bay stations. Six stations with interactive learning and entertaining modules based on nutrition and well being have been planned. The stations have engaging sections that combine virtual reality, augmented reality, holographic projections, 3D projection, interactive technology, gaming zones, and much more in the interactive arena. This is one experience that combines learning with fun. The Jungle Safari is a state-of-art zoological park with an enthralling collection of indigenous and exotic animals and birds from various biogeographic regions of the world. Clusters have been designed to house animals continent-wise from Australia, Africa and South America. The significant feature of the park is that visitors see animals in an open environment and the forested backgrounds provide the effect of a safari excursion. The undulating terrain of the Vindhya Hills makes it an ideal adobe for the creatures here. Another highlight is the walk through Aviary that has some of the finest indigenous birds. One can find birds specific to varied habitats. That's a natural simulation of their actual natural habitats. The view is not obstructed by the bars of the cages. Each of the enclosures is specifically designed. Even the landscaping inside the enclosures replicates the original habitat of the bird. The park is intended to educate visitors about the rich biodiversity. As soon as the sun sets, Kevadia town gets illuminated. The emblematic sites are lit up. The venue undergoes a transformation, coming alive with the night landscape all around the world's tallest statue, the Statue of Unity. A stretch of road from Ekta Dwar to the dam, 8.5 kilometers along shines with colourful, vibrant motive lights and artistic delights. There are various attractive patterns of flowers, palm trees, birds and artistic designs of neon-like clusters that create an endless chain of lights. At nightfall, Vishwan, located on the banks of Narmada, becomes an illuminated garden. The colourful neon strip and sound installation lights up the greenery and large collection of plants in the colours of seven continents. The multicoloured lights at the Sardar Sarovar Dam are a visual delight. The exquisite lighting embellishing the facade of the dam forced us to stop and click a picture. The glow garden, consisting of a huge collection of beautiful flowers and plants, is lit up with using LED strip lights that gives the nursery a warm coloured hue. Radiant and pleasing to the eyes. The trees are illuminated with dark green LED lights that give a whole new meaning to the term night tourism.
speciality of this glow garden is like every animities you are seeing inside is like glowing. It's been decorated and studded with nearly 3,45,000 LEDs, different kind of LEDs. And uh, this uh, uh, space has been um, developed by the Gujarat tourism to attract night tourism in Kevadia. Towering into the skies between the Vindhyas and Satpura mountains at night, the Statue of Unity on Narmada is bathed in warm yellow light, a truly soul stirring sight. As the evening sets in, beauty of Kevadia gets enhanced. One wouldn't be wrong in saying that Kevadia is the new paradise for tourists. That's all I had for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Rajasabha TV.